Hello, uh, my name is Gary Spangler. I'm the district engineer in Division 12. Uh, I, I have two counties that I'm over responsible for, is Gaston County and Cleveland County. Uh, today, I'm going to do a demonstration on proper pipe installation and the proper backfilling procedures uh, to do that. Uh, to kind of to set the scene up that where we're at, uh, the boss man has given the orders this morning for us to uh, uh, put install three cross line pipes today. So we haven't got much time. We don't have a lot of time to waste, and we got to move on. So with that, we've already got our our pipe dug out. We've got the uh, foundation kind of settled up there, leveled up. So let's get our pipe and install it in. <coughs> got us a good aluminum four inch uh, pipe. Uh, we're going to put in here today, so I'm going to get Eric, uh, if he'll help me to be my dump truck driver and, and uh, backfill the dirt here. We'll go ahead and put the pipe in, and since we hadn't got much time today, uh, we got to move on. So Eric, let's go ahead and uh, get that dirt rolling in here. We got that first load in here. We got to level that up a little bit, make sure we get that uniform round through there. All right, Eric, let's go ahead. We ain't got much time, so let's go on and get this pipe put in. We got to move on to the next, to the next site, work site. Got to, got to keep the boss man happy today. Don't want to get him upset. All right, go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Ain't quite got enough backfill, so I think we need another load of dirt. Let's go ahead and get it leveled up here good. <clears throat> All right, Eric, go ahead. We need to get, get, get some more cover on that pipe. That was a, that's, a, that's a thin pipe, so we need to get a good cover on that pipe. You know, we might need one more load there, Eric. Let's go ahead and put one more load on there. So <clears throat> we got to hurry up, though, because boss man... He's uh, not going to be happy if we don't get these pipes put in today. So, <clears throat> Got it leveled out. We're going to take our backhoe and run over that real good because that's, that's, um, that's the easiest way to compact it, isn't it? Yeah, that's the best way I know how. Yep, let's go here. Uh, get our backhoe. We're going to run over it with the backhoe. We're going to pack it down real good. About to get there, I believe. Starting to settle down good. Got it leveled out good. Paving crew will be able to to uh, patch this up good tomorrow when they come out and patch this up. All right, Eric. We've got that leveled up. It got it smoothed out. We uh we ready to go on to the next site. Yeah, looks good to me. Let's go. All right. All right, that does. That looks good. Let's uh. Uh, see uh, how well our our uh, pipe installation went in. It looks good uh, from a, from the site. Uh, we've uh, we got our we got it done in a timely manner. We're ready to move on to the next site. Let's see how well our pipe's going to hold up. Let's put a little pressure to it. Let's get up here. We walk around a little bit. Seems to be holding up all right. I don't know. The more I walk around, it's kind of kind of settling under my feet, kind of moving. I hear the pipe in there crunching around, really kind of gingerly walking around on it. You know, maybe it's just cause I weigh 220 pounds. Let's see here. Let's put a, let's put a pinpoint load to it and see what happens. See if we can put a little pressure. Uh-oh, my foot's starting to settle here. Pipe, you can already see. See right there, even if the pipe holds up there, we've got to come back out and backfill or patch, level up a place in the road. But uh, I have a feeling that it's not even going to hold up if I keep coming back over it. And all of a sudden you can see if I put much pressure to it at all, the pipe just collapses. Obviously we can see that something went wrong here. Uh, we had a good pavement when we left. It looked good when we left, but uh, now we've got a big pothole here in the in the in the pavement. So we can see that 
We can also see that our dirt has filled in our pipe and our pipe has collapsed. So uh, now we're going to have to uh, come back out and replace this pipe, which means we're going to have to close the road again. Uh, so that's not going to make the people happy. Hopefully what you'll see is, is if we took the time to do it right the first time, that it'll be a whole lot more cost effective for us to do that, uh, even though it might take a little bit longer. Maybe we don't get the second or third pipe put in today, but it'll be a lot more cost effective and, and the people will be a whole lot happier with the end result. So, uh, Eric, we're ready to dig this out. If, you, if you'll come bring your dump trucks back over here, let's dig this out, this pipe out. As you can see, that pipe didn't hold up too well under a little pressure. I hope that uh, the next demonstration will prove, some people may say, well, it's just because of the, the type of pipe that we used uh, is what, what caused it to fail. And if you'd used concrete pipe or something like that, that it would have held up. But I think with this demonstration that we'll be able to see that no matter what type of pipe it is, if it's put in properly, it'll hold up. <clears throat> All right, now we've got our pipe dug back out. so. From the very beginning, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to make sure that we get our foundation in properly. Uh, several folks will say, what type of foundation material can we use? I would say that uh, uh, we want something that's solid. If, uh, if you got a dry ditch, you might can use the existing material. If you're in a stream bed, you may want to get some ABC or some washed stone to put down in the foundation and to make sure you get it leveled out properly and uh, get it compacted down right. So we, we, we don't want to put a pipe on something that is soft uh, if we can help it. So we get it leveled out. We're going to come in here. We're going to pack this down real good and make sure we get our foundation properly properly set all right so we got our we got our foundation set in here now it's pretty good, it's pretty solid. So that's, that's the first point. I think the second point, and I think this, in my opinion, is the most critical point. When we put the pipe in, when you put it in here, you're gonna see that there's a triangle area from this point down right here. I call that the haunches. And I think that is the most critical point in putting the pipe in and make sure that we get that back filled properly. So I want to, uh, us to to do that we're ready to backfill again so uh, eric if you're ready to bring me a load one other point that i want to make uh make a couple as we go this but uh um is that uh how much backfill can we put in at one time without compacting it and the answer to that is is six inches we want to make sure that we bring and backfill and compact the pipe in six inches layers so if we'll do that, if we'll take the time and do that and do it properly, this demonstration is going to prove to you that even though we're using aluminum uh, pipe, that it will stand the pressure. So Eric, let's go ahead and 